No matter how hard you try, you may hurt the other person unintentionally. And you may be hurt no matter how hard you try to avoid it. I have tried to put the cart before the horse, but it seems to only flow in the wrong direction. At this moment, when I'm in such a bad mood, I want to shout like this. Why are you doing this to me? Jinosuke Kokoroya, the best-selling author with 3 million copies sold and a psychologist said, Unfortunately, conflicts always occur between people. You can live happily by taking care of those around you, but it doesn't always work like that in life. I fight needlessly with someone I care about. I'd love to take care of that person, but I just can't. I try to do well, but why would he do that to me? For those of you who complain like this about your relationship and are having a hard time with it, here is my prescription. Of course, the other person wouldn't know what you're thinking, because he or she is not you. Everyone thinks differently, so accept the other person's situation. Only then can they keep each other in good company without hurting each other. Now, let me tell you about the three magical psychological techniques to have a good relationship. Number one, be confident about your partner's love for you. You are on a date, and when your partner looks at the smartphone with a tired look on his or her face, you say, aren't you happy to be with me? And a fight begins. Deep inside your heart, you feel that you are not loved, so you look at your partner very negatively. When you think that you're not loved, you think that your partner no longer loves you. When your partner couldn't reach you as often because he or she was simply busy. The act of accepting the other person's words and actions the wrong way is the biggest factor in making the relationship more complicated. In contrast, if you think that you're loved, you may be worrying about your partner's condition, or he or she seems too busy to keep in touch with you. Bear in mind that your world can change depending on which side you think, I'm not loved, or I am loved. Number 2. Don't put yourself in the shoes of the inferior. Kay, a housewife, thought she was doing everything by herself. She thought, why can't I take a rest, even on a holiday? Kay saw herself as a maid, helper, and a manager by seeing herself as an inferior. But one day, her husband told Kay, what you do is most important. You complete me. Since then, Kay began to think that, I am the coach of the family, and my husband is the ace player of the team who supports the coach. So don't think of yourself as an inferior. You must build your own values and presence. If you choose to be a subordinate, you will never be happy. Number 3. If you don't say it out loud, no one knows, so speak up. There are people who often say, I don't need to remind you, you should know better. I don't need to remind you, you should know better. And this is a really bad idea. Because each person has a different attitude to values and thoughts. It is important to remember that if you want the other person to understand you, you must speak up. When you feel that your relationship with someone you care about has become worse recently, ask yourself seriously whether you have conveyed your sincere feelings and affections and words and actions to the other person. No matter how caring or affectionate the act was, it is of no use if the other person was offended. It's dangerous to think, I don't need to say it, my partner will understand. Clearly express your feelings to your partner to make yourself understood. Number one, be confident about your partner's love for you. Number two, don't put yourself in the shoes of the inferior. Number three, if you don't say it out loud, no one knows, so speak up. Remember these three ideas if you don't want to hurt each other. Your psychological skills will change your work, love, and interpersonal relationships for the better.